Hey guys, so here's the first of hopefully many product reviews that we're going to do here in the new dirt bike shop. Today we're going to talk about the Motorsport MX Scissor Lift. That's what's coming up next on Dirt Bike Channel. So this is the lift itself, guys, with the dirt bike on it. Um, it's the Motorsports Products MX Scissor Lift. And uh, I got this one from Rocky Mountain ATV um, and Motorcycle. Um, and you'll notice it's, uh, it's a pretty cool product. Now, it's not super light, but it's not incredibly heavy either. Pay no attention to the little boots here. These are just uh, little booties that I made uh, so that I didn't damage my new epoxy floor here. These are just cut from uh, tubes actually, but it, it, just, it just sits down flat on four uh, steel feet. The whole thing is steel constructed and it seems to be built quite well. Underneath here, there's a jack that lifts up your bike. And as you can see, as I jack this up, and it doesn't happen super fast, but it doesn't need to happen super fast, um, the bike goes up. And it's also, I'll put this back down so that we can see, here's how, here's how you lower your bike. It's also got these clever little uh, springs that you hook onto your foot pegs. These, this, will ro these, this bar will rotate down, giving more pressure on the spring as you raise the bike up. So I can also just kind of uh, tighten this down here. All this stuff is fully adjustable, but I can tighten this so that it puts more pressure on the, on the pegs and pulling that down even more. Now, you're going to see this in real time as I do it. I'm just going to pump this thing up. And like I said before, it doesn't go up super fast, but who's in a race? I mean, we're, we're, not, having any, we're not in any race here. So we're just going to pump this thing up. And you'll notice that there are different little holes down here, if you can see. These are holes that you can put a safe, this safety rod back through so that the bike can't, you know, so just in case some, by some crazy thing, the, uh, j the jack down there failed, the hydraulic jack, if it failed, it would just come down on one of those safeties that you do. But I wanted to show you how tall this gets, because it actually gets quite high and makes it so that you can work on your bike. Most of this, most of, you know, componentry up here. Okay, so that's all the way up. You can work on this while standing straight up if you're doing air filters. And then it's actually quite stable. You can see just how high this is. I mean, this thing is clear up into you know, my chest level and the bars are at actual eye level. I'm six feet tall. So this gets up you know, really nice and, nice and high where you can work on things without, without having to bend over. I mean, if you're pulling off tires, you probably need to do. You probably need to loosen your tires while it's down low. But once you pull that off, if you want to, you know, install it, adjust your chain, all that kind of stuff, you could do that up at this level. But it makes it so nice for cleaning. You know, once you get it up at this height, I wanted to be able to have a lift that I can move out of the way easily when when needed. But a lift that I could work on my suspension with. Obviously, I've got the suspension off this bike. Um, this would be make it really really easy to do. Uh, if you're changing a head or doing a top end on a dirt bike, uh, you can just get it right up here in your, you know, in your grill. Um, one of the things that I've been doing with, with it up like this, and i got to be careful of my brake caliper here, um, is I've been cleaning things. I've taken a bunch of stuff off the bike while I had the opportunity, while, while my suspension was off and my tires were off, and I've just been getting a rag into all these hard to reach places and inside my air box and everything, and I've been able to do that while standing up or sometimes I'll sit down on my stool, but have the bike lifted up so it's you know just reaching out in front of me. Um, and I've been putting Loctite on different things and it's just been real easy uh, to kind of get in and around the bike with it up on this stand. So I'm pretty happy with the way that, uh, that piece of kit is turning out. Another thing to point out about the platform that they give you here is this is actually a really wide, really long platform. Uh, so it gives you a good stable place to work um, I've tried this with my, my Yamaha bike and it works really well. Obviously this uh, 300XC it works really well with. And again, I've got this one moved quite far back so that I could get into my, uh, into my suspension back in here and, and take uh, all that stuff. Obviously you take your suspension out through the top, but I wanted everything to clear here uh, as I worked on uh, my suspension and everything. So normally you'd have the bike a little bit further forward, more centered on the stand. Uh, but actually, it, this thing worked really well this way. I mentioned briefly earlier that, um, that these springs help to hold the bike down on the stand. 
uh, when the when the stand is all the way down, this this bar here kind of rotates up around like this, and so these springs have now a, a quite a bit more pressure on them, just holding, sucking that down onto the stand. And as this comes down, you'll be able to watch this thing just sort of come back around to about in this area. Obviously, all this stuff is fully adjustable, so you'll be able to get it to work for your application to make sure that this gives some good tight pressure on your bike and keeps it keeps it from falling off the stand. And honestly, this, look at this. I have to push this thing so hard that the entire stand would tip over um, to get that to come off. And it's, I know it looks wobbly, but it's surprisingly stable when you actually have your bike up on there. Obviously, you're gonna have to be careful when you're doing things, but it's a pretty cool system. Okay guys, as I drop this down, pay close attention to, to what happens with the tensioners right here. Watch this, watch that kind of start to rotate around. You can see that going down and that lets the pressure off once it gets all the way down. And now that it is down, it's actually uh, a little bit, it's a little bit lower than both the other stands that I have. So you can take, you can get this on and off quite easily. Obviously you're still gonna have to do a little bit of lifting onto the stand because most bikes, it, you know, you'll have to get your front tire here and then just sort of lift maybe grab the back and lift the front end, or the back end around. Um, but it's not, it's not like a really, really high lift uh, that's gonna be hard for you to get your bike onto it. It's also got a little carrying handle right down here. I would take this bike off and show that to you, uh, but the bike doesn't have any suspension or wheels, so it does have this, this carry handle, and this is where you take your safety pin out, and you can slide that in and the different uh, notches back here uh, for a little bit more safety once you get your bike up onto the scissor lift. All in all guys, I'm pretty happy with this thing. I could have gone with much more expensive lifts that are about four times the money. Lift tables that take up a lot more room and could have some pretty interesting features, but I wanted small, I wanted compact, and I wanted cost savings. And so this I think hit on all those uh, notches and I'm pretty happy with the choice that I made to go with this product. So two thumbs up from me.